Hello, welcome to another video from the Cabin Crew. Today I want to show you how we organise the tools and equipment needed for a stress-free caravan trip. There are two collections of equipment and tools that we use. One of them is stored in a bag. Okay, we call this the orange bag. And the rest of the equipment is stored in the car, which I'll show you later. This bag is never full. It's usually only about half full because the things that are in it, such as the locks and mirrors, are usually on the car or the caravan. But it's a great bag to keep everything in one place and you know where to find things when you need them at different stages of the setting up or um, taking down or getting ready for the journey. Um, everything is just left in, in this orange bag. I'm going to go through the contents of the bag and show you what I keep in here and explain a little bit about each, each item. Okay, I'm going to take out each item just to show you what's in here. As I said, it's never this full. The first thing here is just a hitch cover, which is really useful to put in there. Um, these are the chocks. So I have two chocks in here. Okay, very important to put them under the wheels when necessary. Again, they're, they're small enough to fit in here. They don't take up too much room. We have the mirrors for the car. Again, these wouldn't normally be in the bag, they'd normally be on the car. But after the trip, it's really useful to put them in here so I know where they are and I can get them quickly. Then um, our lock for the wheel. Okay, we have the Nemesis lock here, which I like a lot. It's light and it's compact and it, it breaks down into two parts and it's very easy to store. Now again, this would normally be on the caravan wheel when we're on site or when we're at home. The other lock I use is the Alco hitch lock. Again, this is very rarely in the bag. It's generally always on the caravan. Even when we're towing, we keep this on the caravan just for security in case we need to pull over um, at a uh, petrol station. Or shop. Okay, we have a cover for the tow bar. It's really important to keep that in here as well, otherwise it just goes missing or um, it's left behind. So it's really useful to put all those small things into this orange bag. Um, we have a telescopic wheel wrench as well. So this is what. I use if, if we need to change a wheel. It's also used for the motor mover, okay? And we can change the uh, socket for, for whatever um, job we need to do. So if I needed to use this on the car, I have a 21 millimeter in the car. This one is a 19 millimeter for the caravan wheel and it also suits the motor mover. There are also a number of other items in here and I use these for the torque wrench if I am um, changing a wheel or if I just need to check the torque on the wheel. And because I'm using that Nemesis lock I also have this adapter for the universal um, nut that is on the wheel so that's uh, important to have in case I do need to change the wheel. Um, otherwise, I won't be able to get that universal nut off. The other thing I keep in here is a cover for the 13 pin uh, connection to the car. So when we're on site, I will screw that on to the connection that would normally be connected to the car. It keeps it dry and it keeps the pins straight as well. It keeps dirt out as well, which is very important. The level, so this is a, a two-way level, so I put this on the floor 
of the caravan when we are on site and it allows me to see the is the car level or is the caravan level uh front to back and left to right so it's a really useful and it's small and it, it, it does exactly what we need all right we have the um the the ball that goes into the hitch and that that's part of the alco hitch lock um, mechanism Then we have the drill. So I use a 14 volt drill. Okay. Um, this is for bringing down the legs on the caravan, the corner legs, and for bringing them up when we're leaving. So again, really important. I shorten this. Okay. When you buy this, it's much longer. Okay. So you don't need a full length. Uh, it takes up too much space. So I cut off about an inch and a half or two inches off the actual length of that. Um, and it's much easier to store then, okay, still works really well for my caravan. If you are bringing a drill, it's also useful to bring a couple of bits as well, okay, this one just holds it in here, so it's useful to have that if it's needed. Um, and don't forget the power adapter for the drill, okay, when you're on site, it's always good just to charge up the drill so that it is uh, fully charged. I also have the motor mover remote in here and it stays in here as well and I always know where it is and this here is a five meter electric hookup um, I put this in here because sometimes we get on site and the electricity is not very far away and a five meter is just enough um, and it's in the bag and it's ready to go so we can get set up very quickly um, I do have a 25 meter electric hookup in the caravan anyway, um, and I generally do use that. On the odd occasion, 25 meters may not be enough. I can just add this to it and we create 30 meters in total. So it's really useful to have, and it's small and it's light and it fits in this bag and it's out of the way. And that is everything that I keep in the orange bag. Now what I'm going to show you now is what I keep in the car. So the stuff in the car stays in the car all year round. Um, it means that if we go on a trip at the weekend, I don't have to be checking what's in there. Um, even when we're just using the car, we don't have the caravan, I know the stuff is in there, such as um, picnic blankets and tents for the beach and, and different things, okay, which can come in useful when we're out and about without the caravan as well. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I keep in these baskets at the back. So there's some screwdrivers here and some cable ties and spanners. This is a handy little multi-tool pliers and knife set. This is a battery tester. So this is very useful for the caravan, but also for the car. This box here has some screwdriver bits and some pliers. It also has some small screwdrivers which can come in handy. This basket here has a bicycle puncture repair kits and patches. It also has some duct tape and some small things like glue and some patches for inflatable beds and things like that. These are the fuses which are used for the caravan but also for the car. Very important to have a selection of those available. Okay, this is a picnic mat, which is very handy when we're out and about. And this is um, a tent just for the beach, just uh, in case it's a sunny day and you want some shelter. This is a rain jacket in case it's raining and we break down. So I just leave that in here all year round. Um, some high-vis jackets, so one for everyone in the car, just in case we do have a breakdown. They're in there and they're quite compact. A first aid kit, uh, essential, and that's always in the car. This is a, a, a tow rope, okay, in case I need to be towed or I need to tow someone else, so I leave that in there. It doesn't take up too much space. This is a calibrated nose weight gauge for the caravan to check the nose weight of the caravan before we head off. So very useful to have, I leave that here all year round. 
and this is a leveler so I just bring one leveler for the wheel uh, I don't see much point bringing two this is some brake fluid for keeping the hitch clean and I also have WD-40 here and that's very useful to have and some spray grease for any moving parts these are just a couple of wooden blocks which are handy this is a 12 volt digital tire inflator so very useful to have for the caravan it just operates off the battery and also very useful to have for the car this is a warning triangle so it's uh, very useful to have that in your car in case you break down and this is a two ton trolley jack um, it does weigh a little bit it's 8.5 kgs in weight but I took out the car's jack and replaced it with this so I used that for both the car and the caravan this is a box which I keep bulbs in so lots of spare bulbs here headlights um, some bulbs for the caravan and so on this is some wet and dry sandpaper for keeping the hitch clean and some spare friction pads for the Alco hitch This is the awning peg box, so I keep this in the car. It takes a bit of the weight out of the caravan because the pegs are quite heavy. So this contains the mallet and lots and lots of pegs. It also has some uh, Velcro straps and two bungee elastic cords as well, which can come in useful. So that's there and kept in the car all year round. These are some steel holes for the inflatable awning that we have again they're heavy so i keep them in the car this is a corner leg winder in case the electric drill is dead and a torch in case uh, i need some light at night time this is a 13 pin to 7 pin adapter useful if i need to pull a trailer during the year and this is the wrench for uh, removing the nuts and hub cap from the wheel this is a very important tool. This is the torque wrench. So this is used to tighten the nuts and bolts to the predetermined torque value. This is the socket to remove the car wheels with the telescopic wheel wrench. And this is the tow hook in case I need to be towed. And I'll put everything back in its place. As you can see, I do carry quite a lot in the back of the car, but that's because the car has a higher maximum authorized mass limit than the caravan. I also have this black mat which is useful for lying on or kneeling on especially if the ground is wet. I hope you found this video useful. These are the ways that we organize our tools and equipment whether we put them in the car or we put them in the orange bag. I hope you found the video useful and please like and subscribe to our channel. There will be more videos to come.